Good morning. Wedding couples, after a year or more of delay, are just bracing at the bit to tie the knot and mingle amongst their guests. For many, it has been a delay that created a stillness amidst the flurry of earlier preparations. Such stillness has enabled some further thinking about their celebration and also about what they value of each other. One symbolic action that is gently appearing in a wedding service from time to time is the act of washing one another's feet. This may seem a strange thing to undertake during a wedding ceremony, and we might imagine it could raise a few smiles amongst the guests. The physical action of a couple washing one another's feet is an acting out of the wedding vows. I will love you no matter what. It's a sign of humility and sacrificial love. In Jesus's time, the washing of feet after walking dusty roads was common and honored guests were greeted by a servant who washed their feet. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he gathered with his friends and as they sat down to share the meal, he, a rabbi, washed their feet. He took the role of the lowliest servant. Despite knowing that he was to be betrayed, he wrapped the towel of servanthood around his waist and knelt down to wash their feet. There was, of course, outcry and perhaps even a few eyebrows raised. You, Lord, wash my feet. Perhaps that's exactly how you would react too. And Jesus went on to say, do this for one another. Do what I have done for you. That is, love one another to death. A good message for a wedding couple, isn't it? And of course, it's a message for each and every one of us. We can follow him serving one another in lowliness of heart and mind, seeking to build one another up in humility and love and discovering who we are created to be and who and whose we are.